So imagine we have two variables. There's x, that is the type of pet, cat, dog, rabbit, and then y is the pet's age measured in years. And we'll just imagine it's an integer number of years. So one, two, three, zero, and so on. So we can think about the different types of probabilities. We could ask about the population distribution of X and Y. We could think about joint probabilities. So an example would be, what's the probability of a five-year-old cat, specifically? So in other words, the probability that both y equals five, so the pet is five years old, and the pet is a cat and not a horse or a gecko. So that would be a joint probability. What's the probability of a five-year-old cat? A marginal would be a probability that only involves one of the two variables and not both. For example, what is the probability of a pet being a cat? rather than a dog or another type of pet. And then the most complicated one is this conditional probability where we could ask things like, given that the pet is a cat or among cats or conditional on x equals cat, what is the probability of being five years old? So well, just to draw this first, we could imagine there's some population up here that contains all these different types of pets and uh, of different ages. So we have some you know, dogs over here, um, some geckos over here, and so on. Uh, we'll make cat big just so that I can draw some other stuff inside it. So this is the cat portion. This is something else. And then within cat, we can imagine we have here the, uh, well, I guess the <laughs> zero-year-old cats, and then the one-year-old cats, and two-year-old, and so on. And as we'll come back to from our example, I guess I should have picked a smaller number. Uh, we have the five-year-old cats over here, and so on. So when we are thinking about what we had earlier, our joint probability of what's the probability of a five-year-old cat, so both y equals five and x equals cat, that's saying what portion of the population is this five-year-old cat box compared to the entire pet population that we're interested in. The marginal distribution, the probability that x equals cat, is saying let's ignore all of these different age categories within cat and just think about the whole cat portion and how much of the total pet population uh, that takes up. 
So that's the marginal probability of cat. And then finally, the conditional probability down here, the probability of being five years old, given the era cat, is saying, let's zoom in specifically on the cat population and then ignore the dogs, ignore the geckos, ignore the entire rest of the pet population. So we're only looking at the cat subpopulation and then asking within that cat subpopulation, what's the probability of this y equals 5 box here compared to the total cat subpopulation. And thankfully there's also a handy formula we can use for this where uh, this conditional probability here is equal to the joint probability of a five-year-old cat divided by the marginal probability of cat. So that represents what we were just drawing in the picture. Right? The numerator is this joint probability of a five-year-old cat, and the denominator is this cat subpopulation. So that's where that formula comes from. And if we had numbers, we could plug those in. So hope that is helpful figuring out this conditional probability thing. And then just a last note, uh, you know, we could think about the full conditional distribution of age for cats, where we could think about computing this conditional probability for not only y equals 5, but also y equals 4, y equals 3, y equals 2, 1, 0, etc. Uh, so that would say, you know, for cats, here's the distribution of age. And then we could similarly think of uh, all the usual features of a distribution for that cat age distribution. And in particular, the rest of the course will think mostly about the mean. Uh, so in this case, it would be a conditional mean. But we'll talk about that in a little bit.